This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the LD Micro 11th Annual Main Event 2018 in Bel Air, California. With me right now is Brian Lewis from IntelliCheck. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is IDN. Brian, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. It's great to have you on. So for our audience, we'll start off with an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sure. So uh, IntelliCheck is the leading ID authentication company uh, on the market. And let's get a history then. You know, when did the company start and how did you develop to where you're currently at today? So the company's been around for quite a long time. We started off doing ID authentication for military bases and secure facilities. They figured that the best way to know if you are who you say you are is do you have an authentic government-issued ID? And we can authenticate those IDs. And we've since taken that into the market of identity theft and fraud protection, as well as age-restricted restricted products, and we've now moved into law enforcement. So let, let's get into some of these products and services that the company has to offer. You know, what is, their, what is your primary focus? Primary focus today is retail ID. It's a product that we sell to the banks and retailers to stop identity theft. Last year, there was $16.8 billion worth of identity theft. 16.7 million Americans had their identity stolen. That's basically every 88 seconds, somebody's identity is stolen. And when you see the amount of data out there, the 1.5 million or 145 million of us who had our identity leaked through the Equifax, and just this week, 500 million people for Marriott, the data is out there for people to steal your identity. We stop that from happening. So how do you do that? By authenticating an ID. Right? The first step in any process, you know, if you think about going in and applying for credit, they want to know who you are. The best way to do it is, what's your valid government ID? Now, the fraudsters know this, and they're very easy to get online. So I can buy all your information, your, your name, your age, your address, your social security number, for around $2 online. The only thing missing is something that says, I'm who I say I am, a driver's license. And the fraudsters can create ones that even law enforcement says that visually they can't tell them apart. We're able to authenticate that ID and say that this is good or this is bad. So we stop the theft before it happens. So is it kind of like a razor, razor blade model where you have the hardware to show, okay, this is the authentic ID, and then you have to authenticate the ID itself. You know, what, what's the business model? So the best part about it is it doesn't require hardware. Okay. We integrate with the point of sale uh, system at the retailer. So the same way that they scan your purchases, and the next thing they say to you is, would you like to apply for credit and save 5% on your purchase today? When they scan your ID, we do two things. If you're who you say you are, we make it simpler for you because we then populate the application and send it off to the bank. If it's fake, we stop it before it happens. Mm -hmm. And we are stopping that every 90 seconds on average. Mm -hmm. That's how often it happens. Okay, so is what type of compliance is required then, you know, on the authentication, authenticated ID itself, so that when it shows up in your, your uh, cons customer's uh, system, they see, oh, okay, it's, it's good to go. So there are, uh, we have a patent pending product called State Aware. Now, there are certain states that will limit what you can do with a driver's license. You might be able to do it, use it for a credit application, but not for an account lookup or those types of things. We have that built into the system. So the clerk at the store doesn't need to worry about it. They scan it. We take care of it on the back end, letting them know what they can use it for or not. So what's currently out there right now that is available, but you're trying to come in and, and disrupt that? For the most part, there isn't anything. And... and Many of our clients are looking for a solution, and that's why I think we've done so well. You know, the past year has been a great year for the company. We revamped the sales force and how we're selling to people. We just recently signed uh, a top five credit card issuer, client we didn't have before, has some of the largest names that you would see when you're driving, you know, down, you know, the roads in your town of the big box stores, very important client for us. And we've re-engaged with uh, an existing client who we hadn't been doing very much much business with. In the past two months, they brought us seven new retailers. So it really is an example of where I'd say the market is coming to us. People are understanding now that identity theft is a real and growing problem, and we're a product that can solve for it. You know, our clients tell us that we're 99.9% .9 effective. Uh, what I'm very proud of is the New York State DMV uses our product for their law enforcement, and before they put it out for their officers, they checked us against a thousand IDs. We caught 
every one of the fakes. So in that case, they gave us a thousand fakes. They said, see what you can catch. We caught all thousand. We were batting a thousand that day. And then uh, another question I have is, what are some of the company's key milestones then over the last, let's say, six to 12 months? I know mm -hmm. you alluded to a few of them just now, yeah, but yeah. I'd love to get a full recap. I'd say key milestones were um, you know, revamping how we interact with our clients. So a new sales approach, the right salespeople, becoming much more of a professional sales and services organization to make it easier for our clients. That's brought us on, I think, these two very you know, major clients, you know, a re-engagement and a brand new client. And we're also working more with other people who can help us sell. So for our age-restricted product, it's better for us to sell that through, say, the insurance groups who will give a discount to their clients for doing something to keep age-restricted products out of the hands of the underage. So changing how we're selling and interacting with our clients has had a major impact on our growth. And what's your background? I mean, how did you get into all this? <laughs> uh, my background is mostly financial services. And I got into this because I got a call from a headhunter one day and I saw a phenomenal product. It's very rare that you have a product where you've got your clients are willing to get on the phone with their competitors and say, you need to put this in place. So when I saw that, I realized this is probably just a sales issue and it's something I think I can solve. And so far, you know, given what we've done, I'd say we're on track. And then from what you can't tell me, what are some of the company's growth drivers now moving into 2019? Uh, the main growth driver, I would say, is just what we signed up and what we have on our plate could be significant growth for us. So it's about executing on what our clients are already giving us. And then the second driver of that is we've got a lot of clients, you know, prospects that we're speaking to now, a matter of turning them into clients. And where can our audience go and find more information about IntelliCheck? They can go to IntelliCheck.com. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the LD Micro 11th Annual Main Event here in Bel Air, California. With me again has been Brian Lewis from IntelliCheck, publicly traded company. The symbol is IDN. Brian, thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me.